Hi Leo, welcome to Angel Love 333. I hope you're all well, you're healthy, you're safe. A couple things before we get started with your reading. Uh, one, there will be an extended reading link below in the description box if you'd like to check that out. Secondly, uh, you can now follow me on Instagram and TikTok. All that information is below. Just be careful as people are trying to duplicate my account. So use the exact address below, all right? It may not resonate with every Leo out there. That's okay. If it doesn't resonate, you can check out your other signs, your other placements, your moon, your rising, or your Venus sign. There is a playlist link below. And then lastly, uh, please subscribe, like, share my videos. It does help um, me to grow my channel. I appreciate all of your support. And uh, it also helps me connect to your energy. So with that, Leo, let's get started. I'm going to pull some cards here from the Gaia Oracle deck for you, Leo. Messages for Leo for the Gaia Oracle deck here. Messages for Leo. Let's see what we have. All right, let's get one more message here for you, Leo. Oops, we got two. Interesting. All right. That one kind of slipped out. <laughs> the extra one. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay. Okay. So definitely picking up a love energy here that's out of balance, okay? Uh, I'm going to start with this yin-yang energy. This is number four. I'm going to say here because this card here too is number 44 and you have four, you got repeating fours, right? So if you're seeing repeating fours, uh, that is going to be a validation for you. This is your angels and guides trying to get your attention. Now, uh, yin-yang energy for me, this is also uh, divine Feminine, divine masculine, twin flame energy. You also have here the ocean um, of eternal love. Okay, healing, creativity, and fertility. All right, I feel there's a very strong connection between you and your person. Uh, I feel this is definitely somebody here on your mind. Whether you're with this person or you're not with this person, uh, I do get the energy that uh, the two of you are spiritually connected. Now, it can be a soulmate, a twin flame, whatever you believe in here. But I definitely pick up energies here as somebody that you have a very strong connection with. right? And their energy is still around you. Now, you have here uh, number 31, which is interesting because that's another four. So you have here four fours, okay? <laughs> And uh, this is the energy of Ganesha. This is clearing away obstacles, protection, and guidance, all right? So you're being protected at this time. I do get the energy that this is a divinely guided connection between you and this person here. Um, there is a lot of emotion, I feel, between you and this person. And you also have here remembrance. Now, this is 21, which is three, resurfacing of past feelings and emotion okay a lot of emotion between you and this person here okay definitely feels like an eternal love all right so let's see where the tarot is going here so this can be somebody resurfacing from your past this can just also be about those feelings those emotions there's an energy here of what am i trying to say uh, an energy of, uh, oh, I can't think of the word here, but it's that remembrance card, right? Somebody from the past, making past memories together, okay? Nostalgia, that's the word I was trying to say here, okay? So feeling nostalgic, it can be that energy as well. So let me get one more shuffle here and we will get started. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Leo? Messages for Leo. What can you tell Leo? Okay, so we have, there's that emotion, seven of cups. Okay, we've got a lot of cards popping out here. Four of wands. Ten of swords. The hermit card, strong Virgo energy. We have the Four of Swords, okay, and you have 
the Queen of Swords and the bottom of the deck here, we have the Devil card. Okay, strong Capricorn energy. So we have Capricorn energy. We have uh, strong Capricorn, strong Virgo. We definitely have air energy, water energy, and fire, okay? Right now, um, the only thing we don't have on the board is earth energy. I will only call out the strong signs in the reading because uh, typically all the signs come out in the readings, right? So uh, just know that uh, they can be any sign. So let's see here, Leo. I definitely feel, Leo, there was some sort of ending between you and somebody. It does feel an, uh, an energy of distance or separation, okay? And uh, whether you wanna be with this person or not, here's the emotion that I talked about. You have the Seven of Cups and you have the Hermit card, all right? So I feel like there's an energy that there is definitely that has somebody who has crossed your path in your life and it feels like uh, there is broken trust here, right? Or you're feeling like this person could be a snake, right? Uh, because I do pick that energy up here with the devil card, all right? Now, I also can say it can just be the energy of you being very cautious, right? You're very... Um, you're not too sure about this person, okay, whether uh, this is somebody that is a right choice for you because there could be something unhealthy, toxic. You do have the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Again, okay, that's that uh, remembrance energy, right, being nostalgic, past memories, soulmate energy. We're going to clarify, so we're going to see where this is going. Now you have the Four of Wands and you have the Four of Swords. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Another two, another two fours. All right, another two fours here. So uh, Leo, I feel, you know, fours represent stability, security here, okay? So it feels like you may be questioning this connection, this relationship, right, wherever you are at this point, okay? You also have here the Ten of Swords, and you have here the Queen of Swords, all right? So it definitely shows me that uh, there was something that was very hurtful to you, okay? It feels like an ending here with the Ten of Swords, all right? You got the Queen of Swords here, so you are probably uh, trying to detach emotionally because I do feel there's a lot of emotions. Now, this is more in your future energy. The energy here too with the Ten of Swords can be a new beginning here, a renewal happening, right? Uh, the devil can be a temptation. Uh, you know, this person here could be somebody who's a temptation or there's something toxic. Uh, you know, it can be overthinking, right? Obsessive thinking. Right, maybe trying to detach from that toxicity, right? But the the emotions uh, right now I feel are there uh, about this situation. So let's go through this. Let's clarify. We'll see where we're at. All right. Why is the Hermit and the Seven of Cups here, please? Why is the Hermit and the Seven of Cups here, please? Ooh, okay. Got quite a few cards there. So we have the Five of Wands, Queen of Swords, uh, Six of Swords, okay, Ace of Swords. Okay, I feel like emotionally, right, or just in general, you're having a hard time uh, detaching yourself from this person because I feel there's definitely a very strong spiritual connection. You probably still feel this person's energy. I see that you're struggling here, okay? You're struggling here. Um, I'm, I'm going to say here too, you could be dealing with somebody here where there could be other people involved, right? There could be other people involved uh, with the devil at times. I can see that as somebody who is is uh, attached to people. You could have somebody here like who's been in, being intimate with two people. That's not going to be everybody here. But I see a struggle here, definitely a struggle. And I feel it's more so an internal emotional struggle. And I feel like you're trying to detach from this. Okay, Queen of Swords is showing up again. Uh, you also have the Six of Swords. And this is where I see you're trying to detach, move on from this situation, but you're having a difficult time. Okay, now you also have here the Ace of Swords. What? So I feel like this is really just breaking free, trying to break free from this situation and uh, trying to detach 
gain your own clarity here. You may be even trying to cut this person out of your life, I'm just going to say. You know, maybe um, it definitely feels like there was a hurtful ending here. Okay, but we'll see how this plays out. You have uh, the Ten of Swords here as well. Why is the Four of Wands and the Four of Swords here, please? Fours are important here in your reading for some reason. And it is around stability and security here. You have the Page of Pentacles. You have the Justice card. And you have the Two of Pentacles. And look at that. Bottom of the deck here, you got the Ten of Swords again. I feel what's happening, Leo, here. There is some sort of message here coming your way. All right, you have uh, the Page of Pentacles. So I feel that uh, there is somebody here that is coming back around, okay? Somebody where you had this ending with. You got the Emperor here as well, uh, strong uh, Aries. You also have the Temperance card, strong Sagittarius energy. I feel you have somebody here who is reaching out to you, okay, after a period of distance, separation, or just the two of you have had time apart to really think about things. This person's coming through with a message, and I'm going to say if your person uh, is in a relationship or they were in a relationship, I feel like that relationship could uh, have come to an end because uh, you got two Ten of Swords here. Just saying, could be. Um, Page of Pentacles, the Justice card, Strong Libra, and the Two of Pentacles, all right? So this is somebody I feel where, you know, this could be an on and off relationship. As I said before, I picked up the energy. This could be somebody who was back and forth between you and somebody else. Um, I would just say be cautious. I see you in that energy anyway, because with this two of pentacles, I'm not too sure, right? If this person here um, is coming forward truthfully, but let's see, why is the two of pentacles here, please? Why is the two of pentacles here, please? Ten of Cups, the wheel here, okay? This has been happening a lot. You got the devil card, and you can see the devils here, right? There's a shift in the energy. There's a shift here uh, by the universe here, okay? Things turning in your favor. Now, it may be that you're detaching. You're removing this toxic energy um, out of your life, okay? But... Let's see what's under there. Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Queen of Cups. There's a lot of emotion here. Page of Wands. All right. You know, what I get here is this, this somebody here is reaching back out to you, okay? And, you know, it does feel like this was a very imbalanced connection, uh, something toxic possibly, or you're dealing with somebody here who they just had their own issues that they had to work out. But I feel like this person's coming back around. They're gonna try and restore balance here. I do feel they are trying to um, kind of get back some trust and stability here in this connection. But let's see where I, the Ten of Swords and the Queen of Swords is here. And after this, I am going to pull uh, the potential of the situation. We will look at also what your person is thinking or feeling about you. Then we'll dive deeper in the extended and we will look at what their um, upcoming actions are, their intentions, love notes, and guidance. Why is the Ten of Swords here and the Queen of Swords? It feels like there's a new beginning here, but in communication. Now let's see what this is. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune again. Ten of Pentacles. The Emperor. Let's get one more. Wow, the world card, yeah. Things coming full circle here, seven of pentacles. I feel um, you have your eternal love here, okay? Coming back around, Leo. You've got somebody here, I feel, look at that. They've had, to, they've had time to reflect on things, right? 
You got the Nine of Swords here. So this is that obsessive thinking here with the Devil card. So this is somebody I feel they had stuff in their life that they had to take care of. You also have the Hermit card. So remember what I talked about uh, with this Four of Swords that the two of you had to take time together, maybe to be a, be a part, to both have time to think about things. Well, here's that energy again with the Four of Swords and um, the, the Hermit card. And with this Two of Pentacles, the connection has always been there. It's still there. This person, this person here has had a lot of time to think about things, okay? So much so, right? They can't get you off of their mind. Now, it could be, right, that they didn't do you right in some sort of way here with that devil card, right? They've had time to reflect on things. But this is someone who's very attached, right? Sometimes I see that with the devil card too. Somebody who is very, very strongly attached to you. They, they can't let go. You know, it can't even be, you know, an energy, especially with this emperor here, someone who likes to control things. They may be obsessive. Um, but I see here with the ten of swords and the queen of swords. Now, I feel with that queen of swords, you know, you could have, you could have cut this person off, right? Maybe you detached from this person, right? As I was seeing here, you trying to move on, you trying to detach emotionally, but I see a new beginning here in communication, all right? After an ending here, after a, an ending between you and your twin flame, your soulmate, or if you were in a relationship and you have the wheel here, the Ten of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the World card. Look at that. That's amazing energy. You have strong Aries, you have Aquarius, you have Taurus, Scorpio, and this is also your energy here, Leo, with the World card. There is definitely a shift. Um, something that was unhealthy about this situation is going by the wayside here with the wheel. It's turning in your favor. It's leading to something more stable. And it feels like, Leo, you are in control here, okay? Now, the interesting thing is, some of you could be deciding to just cut this off completely and move on, right? Um, but I see communication and I see somebody who has had a lot of time to think about things, all right? So let's see what the potential here is in the situation. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What is the potential here in the situation for Leo? What is the potential here in the situation for Leo? All right, page of pentacles, which we had that energy there. You have the Knight of Wands. I'm almost hearing, I don't know why, the Page of Pentacles. It's like the uh, like a little kid. Like, look at me, look at look at me. I want your attention, right? I don't know why I'm hearing that. So this is someone who wants your attention, Leo. Okay, uh, maybe they're a little bit immature or younger than you. I don't know. Maybe physically it looks younger, but let's see what else we have here. What is the potential here? for Leo in this situation. Six of Swords, all right, and bottom of the deck here, we have the King of Cups, okay. Let's see what's below the King of Cups, Five of Swords, the Emperor again, okay. So I feel what you got here, either you were dealing with somebody who was married or in another relationship um, and this person was a bit closed off to you emotionally. Um, even though I do pick up strongly, they have feelings for you. That's one of the situations I see here. Other than that, I feel you got uh, somebody here returning after a period of time where there was conflict. Maybe there was games. Maybe there was third party. Uh, but you got somebody here who is reaching out to you, okay? Okay. Now, what's interesting, you have the Page of Pentacles. Like I said, I kind of feel like this is that energy. Look at me. I want your attention, you know, uh, with this Knight of Wands energy. Okay, so I feel like you, this person's coming in um, with some communication here. 
Now, what's interesting to me, okay, is the Six of Swords, and that can go either way, and those are the two scenarios that I, I said to you. Six of Swords, some of you, I feel, you're, you're going to be taking the high road, and you're going to be moving on, because you're not too sure about this person. You may feel that this person is a snake, like I said in the, in the beginning of the reading, and some of you here, I feel... This is an opportunity because you had the, remember you had the five of swords here, now you have the six of swords. This is an opportunity for you and this person to get past the conflict. But some of you may be uh, closing out this cycle, okay? I'm gonna clarify, um, I'm just gonna pull three more cards, okay? Because there's different energies here. And I wanna see what they are. Okay, three of pentacles. Six of Cups. We've seen the Six of Cups like three times now. Oh, interesting. I wasn't expecting this, Leo, but it kind of shows up here. Like I said, moving towards stability here. A new cycle. Um, and look at that. Ace of Cups. This person's coming back around. I feel here after a, t a period of time of conflict, they're coming back around uh, with unconditional love here. They're offering their cup. Now, here's that message, right? It's funny that I said, look at me, right? With this energy, because the three of pentacles here, this is definitely an energy of this person wants, they're hoping that you're gonna be receptive. They're hoping that you're gonna to wanna to work on things. But this is also somebody here, uh, I said, look at me. This is also somebody who displays their work, right? look at it, you know, so I feel like it's an energy of this person here, they're going to send you some message. And it's a mess message, I feel that's going to catch your attention. All right. It's a message that's going to catch your attention is what I'm picking up there. You have the Knight of Wands and you have the Six of Cups. Again, somebody here returning, somebody you have memories with, somebody you've been thinking about, right? They've been thinking about you. This person's very passionate about you. This may be also your energy here, like really excited, right? Because you've been thinking about this person and then look at you, you get some sort of message here from this person. And this is what I found interesting because you have the Six of Swords and you have the Hierophant here. So this tells me this could very much so lead to a relationship here or even marriage. Now, this could be for those of you that I feel possibly uh, you may decide that you don't want anything to do with this person. You may decide that you're going to move on. Maybe your higher self is telling you to move on. Uh, you know, maybe uh, I get here too. There could have been some sort of conflict around traditional beliefs right, uh, as well, okay, so uh, it's going to be different for everybody, so with that, Leo, we're going to ask now what your person is thinking or feeling about you, so let's see, what is this person thinking or feeling about Leo, what is this person thinking or feeling about Leo, but remember, I saw all these fours here, there were all these fours here in the reading, which tells me Something's moving towards stability. Something's shifting to something more stable for you. Okay, so you have the Eight of Cups. You have the Sun card. And you know what's interesting, Leo? <laughs> I'm sorry, but the numbers, right? Remember, fours keep popping up. Well, four cards came out here. I had to pull an extra card here. So that was four cards. And then four cards here because I wanted to keep them all even and aligned. <laughs> So I don't know. So interesting. Four is significant here in your reading. Okay. So here's another six of swords showing me here. This person is uh, definitely wanting to move past, right? The conflict, the struggle, right? The, um, you know, whatever was rough uh, or the challenges in the past, this person is hoping that they can, I'm just going to say, smooth things over, right? I feel like this person here is going to reach out to you. They may say something sweet. And look at that. Here's a uh, knight of swords rushing in with communication. So what they're thinking here, you have the eight of cups. All right. 
I'm just going to say your person, somebody walked away here in the connection, but if your person walked away in the connection, they may have thought the grass was greener on the other side, I'm just going to say, all right, but I feel like this person is not content, this person is not happiness, and I feel like this person has done a lot of thinking about this with this hermit card, just as I feel like you've been doing a lot of thinking, right? You're mirroring each other, which is very common with a twin flame or a very strong soulmate connection. You have the three of pentacles as well. So again, this is somebody who um, is not content in how things were left off. And I feel like this person's done a lot of thinking and their intuition, their higher self is telling them that they want to come towards you. I do pick up distance for some of you. That may be a factor. All right, but with that, Leo, I am going to take it to the extended. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.